national report is shining the spotlight on our local drinking water, but the water utility says the Sun City is leading the way in finding new water sources. Good evening, I'm Natasha Paloma. Daniel has the week off. A lot of us may not know where their water comes from and how it gets treated. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live to explain how our community has different sources of drinking water. It's as easy as turning on the faucet, getting a cup of water, and then drinking it whenever you may need it. But most people don't know where exactly it comes from and how many steps it takes to get to this point. Into the future, we're always planning 50 years into the future, looking at what we're going to need in terms of population growth. We also look at changing climate conditions. We look at things like drought that do impact us, and we really look at El Paso as we're in a long term drought. While the borderline is facing that long term drought, El Paso Water is focusing on preparing the community by treating local wastewater. Unlike other communities, we don't rely on just one source of water. We don't rely on just water from a river or water from a lake. Because we're in the desert, because we only get nine inches of water a year, we knew early on that we needed to use several sources. These sources, including several steps by taking eight million gallons of wastewater per day and treating it through four steps of filtration, then treating it for drinking water. We're not taking straight sewage, treating it, and then putting it to the drinking water system. We're taking water that has already been treated to a high standard and then treating it again before we introduce it into the drinking water system. As the community continues to expand, El Paso Water is planning on building an advanced water purification facility which uses advanced technology creating a high level of filtration, all with the goal of helping others around the world move forward. There really is no new water and what we're doing is no different than what we've been doing for decades. Um, so we hope that El Pasoans will embrace that and help us help other communities move forward. And El Paso Water is working with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to help build the advanced water purification facility. And designing the plant will take a couple of years until a bid for construction. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. 